Good day, we get, we're going to talk about the product of max terms. Last time we discussed about the sum of mean terms where we, we, uh, we find the, we express this two table into a sum of mean terms. So, in sum of mean terms, what we're going to look at are the output of the function, which is, this output is equal to 1. So, Likewise, if we take the complement of a mean term, the result will be a max term. So, in a max term, if you want to take the product of a max term in a function, the output, the state of the function, you should focus on the zeros. So, the zeros. So, in a mean term, you will consider or focus on 1. So, in a max term, so the complement of mean terms, 0 in one, 10 hour. So, for example, sa function 1. So, if you have product of max terms, so if you you take the zeros, zero output of the function 1, so this is, again, the designation of this this uh, term is, in the max term is x plus y plus z. So, therefore, you're going to take this out, x plus y plus z times next one is the 0, 0, 001, so that is x plus y prime plus z so the second one so the first function x plus y plus z so the second one is number two so that's why this is x y prime z the next is x y prime z prime times this one this is 101 so therefore this is uh, x prime plus y plus z prime times d6 which is x prime y prime plus z so you take the product of max term which is in this form 0 so this is 0 this is 2 this is 3 5 and 6 so for the second function so there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros, which is the designation of m sub 0, m sub 1, m sub 2, and m sub 4. So this will be x plus yz times x plus y plus z prime. So this one, this is x plus y prime plus z, and then x prime plus y plus z. So, product of max terms equivalent. So, the second function is equal to the 0, 1, 2, and 4. So, let's have an example. Express the Boolean function f is equal to x, y, x times y plus x prime z as a product of max terms. So, this function has three variables, x, y, and z. So, we need to express this one in the product of max terms. So, to express this one, this function into a max term, you, what you need is this, these theorems. So, x plus y z equal to x plus y times x plus z. And you can also use x times x prime equal to 0. So, so, so we have a function. So f is equal to x, y plus x prime z. So what we are going to do is to uh, complement this one. No, we don't complement but we use these theorems. So as you can see, we can substitute x equal to x, y and then we let y equal to x prime and z equal to z. So the result will be x y plus x prime times x y plus z so the same as we did in this theorem and then next is um, we apply same theory where x prime plus x times x prime plus y then, then x plus z times y plus z so as you can see this is just equal to 1 so the result is equal to x prime plus y times x plus z plus y plus z so the result will be this term but this is not a product of max terms yet since 
wala pang z dali there's no y here and there's no x in this term so in order to insert or to place the the um these variables in this term so we need to apply this theorem so if you add that one x prime plus y so if you say z times z prime so z times z prime is just equal to zero so we did not alter the equation so same with this one x plus y uh, y prime plus z and then x prime x plus y plus z so after this one we apply this theorem again so therefore this will be x prime plus y plus z times x prime plus y plus z prime times this is x plus y plus z and x plus y prime plus z and then same apply in this term so x prime plus y plus z times x plus y plus z so after this one you will look for the same terms so similar terms which is x prime plus y z so look for similar so these are these two are similar what else so how about this one these are all these are also similar so if you say x plus x it is just equal to x no so that's why we we'll need you need only one term so therefore this will be x prime plus y plus z times x prime plus y z prime times x plus y plus z and then x plus y prime plus z so there are these are the terms so we need to represent this one into a product of max terms so this is uh, f of x y express this one into product max terms so the, the designations are in this one so this is this four this is uh, five this is seven zero so since this is one 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 so this is zero and this is not uh, we're gonna erase this one so this is f of x y comma z equal to the product of max term zero two four and five so this is the correct answer like that thank you